So modifying structure enums uh, in any project, this this is not limited to, to this project only. It's a known issue with the engine. Um, so what you want to do here is, first of all, save all in case you have any unsaved work. Then let's say you want to modify an enum or struct. Let's, let's go ahead and do it for both. Why not? So let's say that you want to modify the GSI types here. So it could be any enum. doesn't have to be this enum specifically. So what you want to do here is you, of course, want to modify the enum. So add new uh, element. And let's say dummy item, for example. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to save the enum only. You don't want to save anything else. So I'll go ahead and click save. So I save the enum. Let's say I want to do the same thing for the struct. So item info here, this big struct we have. As you can see, it says and saved here um, because everything is linked. So let's say I want to modify this struct as well, which is used on a bunch of blueprints. Let's say I want to add a new variable. As you can see, once you click uh, add new, it just uh, lags for a bit because there's a lot of blueprints using the struct. And the engine is trying to um, modify all of these blueprints, which is the root of the issue. But let's say I want to add a new boolean to this struct. Let's say also name it dummy BP. Once again, what you want to do is save only the struct that you modify. So save. So what you want to do next is close the project. Okay, so once you click on close, as you can see here, it's going to ask you, hey, do you want to save all of these blueprints that are using this enum or struct? And that's the issue. You don't want to save these blueprints because if you do, they'll become bugged. Um, so you want to uh, say don't save. So you want to uh, click don't save, of course, the project will be closed. Now we're going to go ahead and open the project back. And what you're going to notice here is everything is working as intended. The enums are modified and the structs as well. So here's our project open again. And we can go ahead and play. Everything is working as intended. As you can see, nothing is broken. Now, mainly you can tell if something is broken is by going to the output log here and click on filter and ignore or and check. Uh, messages. As you can see, we have no warnings, we have no errors. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're actually going to save all, which is the uh, main issue when things break and you don't know why. So let's say, once again, I want to modify that GSI uh, item uh, here. So let's say, as you can see, we have our item there working. We can use it in blueprints, which is fine. No, nothing's broken. But if I go ahead and add a new enum this time, let's say my dummy item 2. Okay, so go ahead and save that. So because we modified it, if we go to GSI slot, for example, which is a blueprint that is using that enum, um, what you're going to notice here is, first of all, is it wants to be saved. And second, if you open it, you, you're going to see here that it's, that it's not compiled. Okay, so when you modify an enum or struct, all of the blueprints that are using that enum or struct, they become incompiled, okay? Uh, and of course, the issue here is that if you close your project and hit save all, now you saved all of those blueprints and they're incompiled. So when you open the project back and if you open one of those blueprints, you're going to notice that they're now magically compiled, but they're actually not. So they're bugged and we're going to see how to fix that. Okay, so we have our project back here. Let's go ahead and open that same GSI slot once again. And last time it was uncompiled, now it's magically compiled, okay? Um, but it is not. Uh, if we go here to the output log here, filter messages, and look at this. We have all of these errors. I'm going to go ahead and filter out warning as well because the same thing. So as you can see, it's complaining about some sort of serialization error. Uh, so serialized loading. Main error message here is a known structure. That's, a, uh, that's how you know that a certain blueprint is bugged and it has like a weird structure that it doesn't recognize and obviously the solution is pretty simple you just you just want to open that blueprint save and uh, compile and save it so we can see here that it's complaining about um jig multiplier bp so what you want to go here you want to do multiplier bp and you simply want to open compile that's that's literally what it's asking you here to solve the issue so compile save what else we have so all of these are the same thing here it says gsi container JSI container, I'm going to go ahead and open that, compile, save, and uh, the same thing here. So JSI, that's JSI container, all of these are the same thing. JSI, JSI slot there. So go ahead and open JSI slot, compile, save. So essentially, you want to keep doing it for all of these blueprints. Now, we already compiled this and this and this. Now, if I go ahead and restart my project, for example, 
So once you restart your project and once again go to filter messages, now you're going to see that we have fewer errors. Now warnings and uh, these warnings are pretty much the same as these uh, errors. So, but as you can see, we have fewer errors. And if we go and play, you're going to see that everything is working as intended. But you definitely want to go ahead and, and clear these errors. So now obviously, if you follow the first uh, method, uh, you, you will completely avoid this uh, issue. Uh, hopefully they fix it in the future. Uh, but for the time being, if you happen to have this issue of a known structure, then that simply means open the blueprint that it's complaining about. In this case, it's BP main firearm. Just open that, compile, and save. Once again, if you want to modify an enum or struct, follow the first method. Modify the struct or enum how much you want. You can add how, however many items to an enum or struct. And once you're done, save the enum or struct. Close the project. Say no to all. You don't want to save anything. Uh, because that's the root of the issue, saving an uncompiled uh, blueprint. Um, restart your project and you should be fine there. Um, yeah, so like I said, hopefully they fix this in the future. If not, then you know the workaround. Now keep in mind that this issue is not specific to this project, it's in any blueprint project. You modify a struct that is used on another blueprint, that blueprint becomes incompiled and you have to compile it and save for everything to work properly. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.